Hello everyone, this is Saurabh from AD Eureka. Today we will learn how to install Nagios, which is a continuous monitoring tool on CentOS. Here are the steps to install Nagios. First, we need to install required packages on monitoring server. After that, we will install Nagios code, plugins and NRPE. NRPE is Nagios Remote Plugin Executor. I'll explain you in detail later on. After that, we'll set Nagios password to access the web interface. And finally, we will install NRPE on client. So let us proceed with the first step, that is to install required packages on monitoring server. This is my monitoring server. Over here, I need to install the packages. So for that, I'll open my browser and I'll go to this particular website that I'm highlighting with my cursor. Over here, there are two options. If you have a 64-bit machine, then you need to click over here. And if you have a 32-bit machine, just click over I386. As I have 32-bit machine, so I'll click over here. Now over here, you need to scroll down. And you need to copy the link location for this particular repository that I'm highlighting with my cursor. As I'm using CentOS 6, so it is compatible with CentOS 6. And I'll copy the link location, go back to my terminal. And over here, I'll use rpm-uvh command. And I'll just paste the link location. And here we go. Now to get the second repository, I'll again go back to my browser and I'll open this particular website. Just scroll down and copy the link location for CentOS 6. Just copy it, uh, go back to the terminal. Again, I'll use rpm-uvh command and just paste it. It is done now. I'll clear my terminal. Our first step is complete, that is to install required packages. Now we need to install Nagios core, plugins and NRP. So let us go ahead with that. Over here I'll type yum-y install Nagios, I want to install Nagios. So I'll type Nagios and I want plugins as well. So for that I'll type Nagios-plugins-all. I need plugins for NRP as well. So I'll type Nagios hyphen plugins hyphen NRPE. To install NRP, I'll write NRP. And now we need to install Apache as well as PHP. The reason for doing that is Apache web server is required to monitor the current web server status. And PHP is used for processing dynamic content of the site data. So to do that, I'll type HTTPD for Apache and PHP for to install PHP and here we go it is done now I'll clear my terminal and now I need to enable Apache and an argue service for that I'll type check config httpd on and check config nagios on and here we go now our next step is to start apache and nagios for that i'll type service httpd start service Nagios start and here we go so we have started Nagios as well as Apache server let me clear my terminal now our next step is to enable swap memory of at least 2 GB swap is basically used to free some not as frequently accessed information from RAM and move it to a specific partition on our hard drive so for that, I'll type Here we go.
and now I will type make swap slash swap And here we go. Now we need to edit FS tab file. For that I'll use echo. Let me show you how to do that. I'll type echo swap swap default. Let's see FS tab and here we go. Now I'll edit sysctl.conf file. For that I'll type echo vm dot equal to zero. Let's see ctl.conf sysctl hyphen p and here we go it is done now I'll clear my terminal now we are done with the second step that is to install Anagios code plugins and NRPE our next step is to set Anagios password to access web interface. So let us proceed with that. To provide password, I'll type ht password hyphen c etc Anagios password and I'm going to give a username that is Nagios admin and here we go enter the new password confirm it it is done now I'll clear my terminal now what I'll do I'll open my browser and I'm going to type local host Nagios over here you can type the host name of your particular machine the host name of my machine is localhost so I have typed that or else you can type the IP address as well enter it is asking for username Nagios admin is my username and I'm going to type a password and here we go as you can see the Nagios is working successfully over here I'll click on host and it is displaying what all host it is currently monitoring so as you can see it is monitoring only one host that is local host if I want Nagios to monitor more machines I need to install NRP on those remote machines so I'll show you how to do it we are done with the third step now our final step is to install NRP on client so for that I'll go to my client virtual image this is my client virtual image over here I will install NRP NRP is Nagios remote plugin executor that allows you to remotely execute Nagios plugins on other Linux or Unix machines this allows you to monitor remote machine matrix like disk usage, CPU load, etc. But before that, I need to first install the required packages like I've done that in my monitoring server. So I'll just repeat the same steps. So I'll just paste the same command that I've executed in my monitoring server. And here we go. I will clear my terminal. And for the second package also, I'll repeat the same step that I've done in my monitoring server so I'll just paste the same command and here we go so we have installed the required packages now I need to install Nagios, Nagios plugins and NRP 
So for that, I'll type yum install Nagios Nagios plugins and NRPE. Here we go. It is done now. Now I will enable NRP service. For that I'll type check config NRPE on. Our next step is to edit NRP.CFG file. For that I'll use VI editor. VI let's see Nagios nrpe.cfg and here we go over here when you scroll down you need to add the IP address of your monitoring server in this section that is allowed host so I'll just do that Now just save it and quit. Our next step is to set up firewall rules to allow connections between monitoring server and clients. So for that I'll type IP tables hyphen N N R P E And now I'll type IP tables hyphen I input And here we go. Now I'll type the third command that is IP tables hyphen I N R P E hyphen S and over here you need to give the IP address of your monitoring server. I'll type 192.168.56.1678 hyphen J accept and now I'll type IP tables hyphen A N R P E hyphen S hyphen J And now finally I need to save these configurations. For that I'll type Etsy inet.d IP tables save. And here we go. It is done now. Now we will start NRPE. For that I'll type service NRPE start so NRPE has started successfully now I will go back to my monitoring server this is my monitoring server over here I need to edit nagios.cfg file so for that I'll use vi editor vi etc nagios nagios.cfg and here we go over here where we scroll down 
we need to uncomment this particular line that is CFG underscore DIR equals to HC Nagio server just uncomment it and we are good to go. Now I'll create a directory called servers for that I'll type make directory HC Nagio's servers and here we go. Now I'll change my directory to server. For that I'll try type change directory. Etsy Nagios servers and here we go. Now I'll edit some configuration in servers. For that I'll type vi editor. Vi Etsy Nagios servers. And uh, whatever file name you want to give, I'll just uh, type client.cfg. So whatever file name you want to give, you can just uh, proceed with that and press enter. As you can see that currently it is empty. So what I need to do is I'll first open my notepad and I'll copy this. Go back to the terminal and I'm going to paste it here. Over here I am just uh, adding what all services that I want to monitor. So wherever there is client name written just type the host name of the machine that you want Nagios to monitor. In this case the name is client so just change it to your host name and you need to type the IP address as well. So this is the correct IP address that is 192.168.56.201 and uh, wherever there is client name written just enter your own uh, host name client and just do it one more time. Now just save it and quit. Similarly you can add more services that you want to monitor and same configurations can be used to add n number of clients. Now we should set folder permissions correctly and restart Nagios. So let us go ahead with that. First I'll type hyphen R Nagios dot slash Etsy Nagios and now I'm going to restart Nagios for that I'll type service Nagios restart it is done now now what I'll do I'll open my browser and I'll refresh this link once now over here we'll click on host and it will display all the hosts that it is currently monitoring as you can see that earlier it was monitoring only local host but now it is monitoring one more host and the name of that host is client. Similarly you can add n number of, n number of hosts that you want to monitor. And when we click on services it will display the status of all the services. If you want in-depth knowledge about the whole DevOps lifecycle that includes continuous monitoring as well. You can enroll at www.edureka.co slash devops. Thank you for watching this video. You can comment your queries and questions. Do subscribe to our Edureka channel to learn more. Thank you and happy learning.